Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 6022 Southeast Alder Hill Loop here in Milwaukee. We're located inside the garage, right up against the, the front foundation here. We have a th four inch ABS clean out. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently out water running. Here we go. And transitions here to cast iron pipe, about five feet out. Hey, we're going into some standing water here. We'll reassess this spot on the way out when the line's totally drained. And then we transition here from cast iron over to concrete, six inch concrete. Looks like the standing water dissipates out right after the transition here. And transition points are a fairly common area to have bellies. A lot of times you've got, you've got two different pipe materials which age differently, settle differently, all that kind of stuff. And they often go in at two different times. So. If you don't get those that grade met absolutely perfect on the way out, you end up with a belly. But we'll uh, we'll see how well that drains out at the end. Where I typically start to see toilet paper collect in bellies once you have around an inch of standing water static with no water running uh, for at least a five foot section. That's where you start to see toilet paper build up. Now here at 57 feet, we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to go locate the camera head here, and then we'll let the pipe drain out. We located the camera head successfully out in the main lateral on Southeast Art Alder Hill Loop. We just have a little bit of water trickling through. We're going to get just a minute longer here to drain. And we are basically all done draining out here. This is just the last little remnants trickling through. And at the end, we're going to reverse direction. We're going to scope underneath the garage floor here, or at least the whole house as far as we can go. Now, concrete pipe here, as far as condition goes, is still in fairly good shape. There's a teeny tiny bit of aggregate that starts to show through, but it is by no means at a point where that should lead to any repairs at all. It's still quite smooth, and all those joints there are nice and tight. Now, my biggest concern here is this belly and the cast iron pipe. Cast iron naturally is quite rough on the inside and tends to snag things up fairly easily, so you put standing water in amongst that, and it creates a spot where it, it debris can build up quite easily. So if we start right back here, right at the beginning of the belly, and look down the line, that water level there is going up over halfway up. So we've got about, and that's right here at the start, got about an inch and a half of water. We're going to push out here a little deeper. Now it's consistent throughout that. It's about, a, it, it gets probably close to about two inches of standing water once you're in the belly in the middle of it. No, but because we have that amount of water here, uh, I would recommend this be corrected. And the belly extends here from 29 feet and dissipates out. There's actually some standing water in the concrete which may have to be corrected in order to fix all that. You'd have to talk to the repair guys about it. Uh, but it does, it ends up coming back out of standing water here at the very end. So hopefully they can do that repair without having to deal with the concrete portion of the line. Uh, but I am going to map this out with some white paint. I recommend this be corrected. Um, at this point, you can see how thick and dirty this water is. You can see all the sludge that's collected there. We, you know, in this, we'll try and find a spot where we can see that a little easier. Um, but you can see how much junk is collected in this water here. And that's the concern is that debris can build up, especially in this type of pipe. 
because of the roughness of it. You, you add the roughness of cast iron with sanding water and it creates a, a recipe for stuff to build up and block the light. So it's not that it won't function. You can live with a belly. You just need to be really careful as to what you're putting down the line. Fold the toilet paper is the only thing that should be going down the toilet. Um, and also making sure that no grease or cooking oil is going down the sink. Uh, no paper towels, tampons, anything like that. Just toilet paper. But even at that point, toilet paper will still hang up in a belly of this size. That's the problem is the items that are designed to go down the pipe are still going to hang up here. Not just paper towels and things. Alright, I'm starting to map this out here in the driveway. It's underneath the concrete. Um, I would recommend that locates be redone to verify. Uh, the signal from the locator is bouncing all over the place. I'm getting a depth between about especially right here about seven and a half to nine feet. I'm getting about eight and a half to nine feet deep at the end of the line here. And my locates are basically following what the line is doing. Uh, but I just recommend it. whenever they're that bouncy, it's worth doing. But the combination of the depth and cast iron pipe will often mess with the signal. But this is under the driveway right around eight to nine feet deep. I do recommend a spot repair to correct that belly there. If the repair is not done, the line right now is functioning. It's functioning, although draining slowly. And it's not like a belly can't be lived with, just they, they pose a high probability for debris buildup and a, inevitably a blockage, or a possible blockage anyway. So if you don't do a repair, I would highly recommend a rescope in a year. Uh, like as clean as this line is, right now it doesn't need any jetting. Uh, but I would rescope it uh, at the year mark. That will give you a good baseline for how the line is handling your living habits. You could have two people in here right now and five might come in where a belly might not be a problem for two people. It, it will be or could be much more of a problem for five or six people, especially if you have little kids in the house. Yeah, we're now going underneath the, the garage floor. This is the end of the line going under the floor. Can't run out of the line here. All the pipe we just scoped underneath the garage and basement floor is all in good shape, has good flow, and is functioning properly at this time. So overall, the line is functioning but draining slowly due to that belly there in the line. Now that, that's the and, and again at that at about two inches of standing water for in total it's from 29 feet to 37 feet, and that is taking into account the standing water that's in the concrete section of the line. In many circumstances, even if the standing water is minimal, you still have to correct it. Otherwise, you won't be able to actually fix the belly. So it extends from 29 feet to 37 feet. I do have that mapped out here on the concrete. Um, I've written the depth at the end. The start of it, though, the signal's coming in so bouncy that I, I just, I'm not comfortable writing a depth down. But I'm getting right about 9 feet. I've had it bounce from about 8.5 to about 9 feet, 3 inches deep. Uh, and I've located it multiple times in the cast iron and in the concrete portion. Uh, and I'm still getting that kind of jumpy locate. So 
would recommend re redoing the locates just to double check the markings. And if a repair is not done, once again, I recommend a rescope in a year to keep an eye on it. After a year, and even two years would be worth doing again. But after that amount of time, um, especially depending on how many people are in the home and if it's just adults, um, you may not have to drain clean it at all, um, you, but you might. If, you, if you're putting stuff down the line, it shouldn't be going down there. <clears throat> the only thing that should go on the toilet is fold the toilet paper. And as for the sinks, the kitchen sink, you want to avoid as much food from going down the disposal as possible, uh, but no eggshells, cooking oil, grease, um, coffee grounds, all the stuff you know shouldn't go down there. Uh, regular old food, for the most part, is going to break down and move on its way if it gets hung up there. Um, you, just, you just want to be careful as to what you're putting down the sewer line.